This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruschi. Featuring author, psychologist, and daily contributor, Siobhan Scott. Well, we don't even officially have a trial date yet, but already questionnaires going out to potential jurors in Moscow, Idaho. Not from the prosecution, not from the city or the state, uh, but from Ann Taylor. Ann Taylor, the defense attorney for Brian Koberger, sending out some mass mailers already. Joining me to discuss, Siobhan Scott, psychotherapist and author. The judge saying, yeah, you kind of got to stop doing that. Uh, give us a, some insight on onto this. This is not completely uncommon. Sometimes this does happen, but it does seem a little bit odd for someone who's arguing and saying, uh, I feel like the jury pool has already been tainted here. Uh, I know she's trying to prove that by sending these mailers out and then show the judge, but aren't you kind of staining the waters at the same time by totally. sending these things out? What's yeah. the thought process here? Um, boy, they are really giving him a vigorous defense, aren't they? They yeah. are are trying absolutely everything. I um, read that she was saying they plan to have 400 witnesses yes. at the trial. <laughs> I'm like, who are you going to get? You know, people that say they saw him driving around in the white Elantra that night. I mean, I, yeah. how do you get 400? Um, so it's it's a vigorous defense. Um, the mailers are interesting. We don't know what questions they were asking. I also read that there were there was a phone call canvassing being done. Um, you can definitely, by the way you frame questions, get the answers that you want. Mm -hmm. And so I I would agree with the judge. Don't do this. Don't do this. If we're already concerned about how there may be bias going on out in the community for good reason, that's a real concern. Um, this is just another way of trying to manage people and manage, you know, perceptions. And, you know, it's, I guess, to be anticipated in this case. But um, I think the judge did the right thing. I I agree. It's It almost just seems like the judge already saying we're not moving it. Uh, I mean, it, they may, that could easily change at some point, but it's not been decided by any means as of yet. It, it just feels like it's kind of trying to tip the scales here a little bit. I mean, before this even gets underway, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. granted, you know, you want to you know, tip the scales in your favor, yeah. but at what point is it just be kind of get a little unethical or, or bizarre, uh, mm -hmm. to, to be doing this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do think the, the ethics issue is real here and you know but there are many situations where uh, attorneys play loose with ethics and mm -hmm. it's all about winning the case and um as i say they're being very very aggressive and vigorous with this one is this about winning the case or is this about creating some sort of a doubt is that like the only thing we're going on at this point realizing maybe we're not going to win this, but if we can create doubt, maybe we can save the life of, of Koberger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that would be a win for her, certainly. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Because, I mean, it's just, I mean, Moscow's not big. It really wouldn't be hard if you really wanted to to send a mailer out to every single person that yeah. lives there. That yeah. would not be that crazy of a feat to do. And then when it comes to jury selection, then one of the questions could easily be, did you receive a mailer? What, how did that, yeah. I mean, and then eventually you're like, oh, the whole, everything's tainted because you tainted it yourself. Yes, yes, yes. Very, very true. Very true. I, have I you agree. have you ever seen a case where it, it appears that the defense is trying to taint the jury pool on purpose in an area to simply have the case moved? I have to say I have not. I have not. That That did surprise me. And at the end of the day, we've talked about this before. Does it matter? Does it matter right. uh, in this community if they get a mailer or not? Does it matter uh, if this thing moves to another city or not, or anywhere in Idaho for that matter, yeah. Uh, yeah. with the way that this thing has been covered and the awareness of it? Yeah. Um, you know, it's common to have venues changed. Seen that happen, certainly. Mm -hmm. But in this case, this incredibly notorious, horrendous situation with so much coverage, so many details, so many documentaries, I don't see personally how it's going to make any difference. Yeah. Well, just, it's always interesting to see what they're going to attempt to do. And 
Ann Taylor is someone who I think you'd want defending you if you were uh, I guess, accused. Of I guess. If I'm going to commit a murder, I yeah. better go to Idaho so I can <laughs> hook up with her. That'd be a good billboard. If you ever commit a murder or thinking <laughs> about committing a murder, call me first. Ann Taylor. Right. Yeah. right. Sick of the ads? We opt to. Start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else. Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Sign up now.